They've come from all over the world with one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. But one question still remains. Do you have it? Do you have it? Do you have it? Portugal in the pumped up purple is Anna Cristina, the winner, Miguel Three countries, three players, one goal, a glowing piece of our radical rock. Hello, everyone. I'm Mike O'Malley. This is Global Guts. And today I'm here with an international team of presenters bringing the action to you and over 250 million people all over the world. Before we kick off today's world championship competition, it's time now to go to our referee, Maura Quirk, for an official gold medal update. Yo, Mo! Hello there, Mike. Spain, the CIS, and Portugal all want to move up in the standings, and a win today will put one of them right back in the action. To find out who will do it, let's get underway in our first event. And we will get underway with our first event because they might be slam dunking in Boston, Barcelona, and Berlin, but nowhere do they rock the rims like here in the extreme arena. Our athletes going sky high with a little elastic sports slam dunk. Mo, give me the rules. Mike, at the sound of my whistle, our players will grab a basketball, bounce up, and shoot. They will have 60 seconds to score as many baskets as possible, and baskets only count if they are shot after the player has touched the ground. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, the first event starting our world championship competition right off the bat. Red scoring one. That's on hell and blue going up strong and right to the rim with a nice clutch. He's got good power back up. Again, blue with another. Oh, and bumping up against the rim. That's the axe. That's Anna Christina in purple going up strong and with a nice feather touch. She's got four hoops right now. She's in the lead. As on hell off the background with another and the axe with one, two. Hell with the fifth, Red with the fifth, but Anna Christina in the lead with six right now. As Red and Blue both score six, Anna Christina is in the lead with seven. If she can keep the pace up, it's seven purple. Six and six for Blue and Red. Seven for Blue, seven for Red, eight for Purple. Time running out, Purple still in the lead. Nine, nine, nine. Oh, and the buzzer, Purple might have won it. Christina did score right at the buzzer. She got 10 baskets that put her in first place and tied in second place with nine baskets each on her and Alexia. Starting off with the great one. Look at the axe in red. Ready to say Timber who are slam dunk rims. He went up high for nine of those thunder dunks, but under pressure, pulling through always the Portuguese. Christina with an aerial swan leap. First place points, I believe that's quite a heap. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard, Mo. Mike, first place in our events is worth 300 points. That goes to Anna Cristina from Portugal. And tied in second place with 200 points each, Angel from Spain and Alexia from the CIS. Here's how it works. The player with the most points at the end of all of our events goes home with the gold. And now let's hear from a world-class athlete who's taken aim for sports fame in Spain. Angel, the steamroller. Yeah, that's you. Spill your guts. Hello, my name is Angel Garrido from Spain. My three favorite sports are soccer, cycling, and tennis. Spain has beautiful architecture, beginning with the Romantic style and ending with the Modernism style. My favorite athlete is Romario, because he proved in the World Cup that he's the best in the world. 
event, the Extreme Arena has been transformed into a cataclysmic world for our post-nuclear race, Mad Max. Our players will start off rolling down the ramp. And as they make the first turn, they then got to jet through the junkyard, make another turn, jam over those jumps, make another turn through pothole pass. They got to power through that. And then make the final turn as they destroy the dead end and cross the finish line to end the race. Let's go to Mo for the rules, Mo. Players will race around the track, making sure to go through each obstacle. Time penalties are assessed for any infractions. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first, the steamroller. That's on hill. Tied for second with 200 points. In blue, he will set the pace. No problem through the junkyard as he jams over the jumps. A little hesitation, didn't really attack the jump, so as he gets in a pothole pass, he's got to pick up the base. And through the final turn, he's really got to drive through the dead end, so those center blocks won't slow him down. You see that block underneath this vehicle trying to slow him down. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time for the steamroller. On hand, clocked in at 25.4 seconds. Stepping up on the ramp next will be the Axeman. All the way from Russia, he is tied with the steamroller in second place with 200 points. He's ready. On your mark, get set. Yeah, the axe sharpening his Mad Max blade. Look at this guy. He's going right in the jump. And oh, oh, as he turns over on the jumps, but he's OK. The stunt guys are helping him. He'll pick up the pace as the clock still rolls. You see just how much guts this Russian guy has toppling over the jumps and on. Oh, he's making another turn. This man is a battler. Talk about guts determined to finish. Let's go to Mo for the results. Alexia clocked in at 31.1 seconds. He did get one time penalty of two seconds for going off the track. Yeah, he didn't get penalized for landing on his head. He was beautiful in that one. Anna up next. On your mark, get set. Well, the winner with the smile on her face, her nickname is the winner and she won our first event. So 25.4 to beat. She's very slow and methodical making it around those first two turns. As she comes over the bumps, she did not topple herself, but she's really gonna have to pick up the pace. 25.4, the time to beat. She's got about five seconds to get through the dead end. For another first place finish, she comes across the finish line. Let's go to Mo and find out if that is official. Anna's time was 25.6, including one two-second penalty for going off the track. So Angel came in first place, Anna came in second place, and Alexia came in third place. So just inching his way to victory was the steamroller with a little nonchalant romp over the first couple of turns. But steady and slow wins the race this time, the steamroller with victory. Look at this madman, the axe. The axe and Mad Max took a tumble. Rocking and rolling on his head. He's saying, it's not, guys. Will you get me up? I got to finish the race. Gets back situated. The man was fine, spinning his wheels to the finish. Let's go to Mo and check out the leaderboard now. Mo. Well, Angel from Spain and Ana Cristina from Portugal are tied in first place right now with 500 points each. And in third place with 300 points is Alexia from the CIS. Clean this place up. We got a lot more to go. You stick around. We got scramble. We got a little zero G to find in gravity. You come back. Whoa, yeah. Welcome back to Global Guts. Plenty more to play. Three players battling out for one gold medal. But right now, we're going to get to know the axe. Alexia from Russia. Tell us the facts and spill your guts. Hi, I'm Alexei Kiriev, and I'm from Belgorod, Russia. I love soccer, volleyball, rollerblading, and hockey. But basketball is my favorite sport because it's the most interesting. To be a good athlete, you have to be agile, brave, strong, and train hard. This is my first time in America for Global Guts, and I enjoy it very much. Style, folks, up next it's Scrumble, and our players will be pushing and pulling and mauling and crawling and hopefully scurring. Mo? 
Mike, at the sound of my whistle, players will grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player with the most balls in their goal at the end of 60 seconds is the winner. On your mark, get set. And with that whistle, all out chaos begins as three players battle it out for those rugby balls on the ground, bouncing. And there, Blue with the score. Alexia with that a score right there. Ana Cristina with a strong score. Two players are tied for the lead. As you see, Blue getting pushed and pulled all around. Bounce it off for score. The quick decision making. That's the axe. He's got to get in and score. He needs a first place finish. 30 seconds left. As Purple on the ground. Purple with four. Oh man, it's magnificent chaos as Blue scores another. With 10 seconds left, Alex, as I said, needs a first place finish. He's filling it up. The winner, that's her nickname. That's two at a time. And with the buzzer, a score, another score for Blue, filling it up. Let's go to both for the results. Angel came in first place with 12 goals. Anna Cristina came in second place with 10 goals. Alexia came in third place with eight goals. Keep in there, boys. Look at Anna Cristina, the Portuguese postwoman with a certified mail delivery of one scrumble ball. And as we see the steamroller rolling up and over, pushing and pulling, he's getting dragged by other place. He goes up for the shot, misses, but right back at it, digging in. Power, determination, and a victory. Let's go to Mo for the leaderboard now, Mo. Well, Angel takes first place now. Angel from Spain with 800 points. In second place is Ana Cristina from Portugal with 700 points. In third place, Alexia from the CIS with 400 points. Amazing action in Scrumble Zero G coming up. But first, we're going to get to know a little bit better this Portuguese pro who's a winner on the go. Ana Cristina, spill your guts. I'm Cristina Figueiredo, and I'm from Lisbon, Portugal. I'm into soccer, rollerblading, and cycling. My favorite athlete is soccer player Juan Vieira Pinto. He's a great player, and he's cute. I like being in Global Guts because I'm playing awesome sports and I'm meeting new friends. may have gone global, but this next event is truly out of this world. In zero G, our players will test themselves against the rigors of space, defying gravity in this horizontal race. Let's go to Mo for the rules. Mo. At the sound of my whistle, each player will race around the zero G course. Best time wins. On your mark, get set. Up first is our leader, Ahel. And on ahead. Having trouble over the first hurdle. He's gonna need more speed, making it around the edge of nothing. You see just how hard it is to stay horizontal. You gotta keep centered and pick up the speed. On Hill trying to stand up a little bit too much, not getting in that horizontal frame of mind, but with one foot, seems to be hippity hopping across the finish line. Let's go to Mo and find out the official time for the steamroller. On Hell's time was 28.1 seconds. The Axe has come all the way from Russia, and I have a feeling he wants a first place victory. Looks like he's ready. On your mark, get set. Let's see if the Axe can stay horizontal. And indeed, hold on to your hats, folks. The Axe is putting his blade into the turf around the edge of nothing. Can he hold on? Indeed, he does stay horizontal. He feels victory in his reach and coming, digging across the finish line. The X. Oh, yeah, he's on the aerial bridge. And if that's official, he has beaten the steamroller with time to spare. Let's go to Mo. Alexia's time was 17.2 seconds. There you go, X man. Up next will be the winner, Ana Cristina from Portugal. On your mark, get set. So the winner to get victory. We'll have to beat 17.2. It's going to be a tough time to beat. But over the first hurdle and thinking horizontally, she's got the speed. Around the edge of nothing, she's going to have to pick up this portion in about five seconds. 
but she goes down to her knees on the turf. She's not going to have it, so now she's fighting right now for second place points, which could change the outlook of the game going into the crack. Can she get across? We'll go to Mo. Anna's time was 25.6 seconds, so Alexia takes first place, Anna Christina takes second place, and Angel takes third place. To stand atop the metal platform at the end, you got to first stand horizontally on zero G. Anna Christina preparing for the first hurdle, got over it in fine form. But the main man, Alex, the guy coming across, the X, big X coming through there with first place points. All right, and right now it's time for a little interview with somebody I talked to yesterday, Anna Christina. Here's what she had to say. You have traveled across the Atlantic to come here, and you're representing Portugal, one of six female athletes. How does that make you feel? Marvelous. To represent Portugal is something to feel great about. Also because we are final picks of our country, we have more reason to win. And how would you say guts? Courage. Courage. Mo, talk to me about the leaderboard now. Well, right now on hell from Spain and Ana Cristina from Portugal are tied in first place with 900 points each. And in third place with 700 points is Alexia from the CIS. Well, folks, four events now, but it's far from over. You know where you're going to go. where it is far from over. Three players battling out for one global guts gold. And at the crag, the points have skyrocketed. 375 for third, 550 for second, 725 for first. Let's go to Mo, see where we stand. Mo. After four events, both Angel from Spain and Ana Cristina from Portugal are in the lead with 900 points each. And in third place is Alexia from the CIS with 700 points. Oh, yeah, a lot more excitement to come. Let's see how they got there. Starting off steamrolling with a little slam dunk. Watch the finger motion right in there. But first place went to Ana Cristina, the winner, going up strong at the buzzer for her 10th. She took victory. In Mad Max, the axe tumble, taking a digger. He's on his head. He's saying, guys, get me out of here. He was fine. He finished the race with steamrolling his way to victory through the dead end, destroying it. Was the steamroller on hell from Spain with 300 bills for that one. We go in a scrumble, and it was a mean battle out there on the rugby floor. Pushing and pulling, our players picking up those rumble balls in first place again. Went to the steamroll, paving his own road. And then, finishing up, we see the Axe getting back into the first place action himself. Rolling across the finish line, his victory puts him right back into the thick of the competition. And the competition is about to get very, very hot, folks, because now we're at the super aggro crack. First it was the aggro crack, then it evolved into the mega crack. Now, the super aggro crack. Bigger, sharper, and filled with more obstacles and more surprises than ever before. Players begin in Boulder Canyon, where blistering blasts of venomous vapors erupt from the canyon floor. Then it's up through Switchback Bend, with volcanic boulders ready to explode at the slightest touch. Lurking ahead, Avalanche Ledge, with ultra-sharp spires and rumbling rocks ready to roll. From there, it's a hard solo up the ice wall, straight through the falling sheet of snow protecting the crag peak. And all the while, our players will be facing the sound and the fury of a molten volcano that is ready to blow. You want some rules? I'll give you my mo. Mo! Players will start at the sound of my whistle. Each player has an identical side of the mountain to climb and may not disrupt another player's progress. Now, during their climb, players must light up each of eight targets located on their side of the crag. The first player to activate all of the targets, including the final one at the peak of the mountain, will take first place points. Mike. So now, after months of training, thousands of miles of travel, and with millions of viewers looking on all around the planet, it all comes down to this incredible climb. One mountain separates three players from a world title. Who will get to the top of that mountain first? Let's get it started with Bo. On your mark, get set. 
And with that whistle, the axe slashes through the vapors. He's got to get off of the canyon. Indeed, he did. All hell is time with Anna Christina. That's the axe. Through switchback pan, the smoke, the fog, the snow, and the rumbling rocks are ready to roll. And indeed, they do. And the axe looks to be in the lead up the ice wall. Anna Christina in purple. Super Agro Crag, Alexia from the CIS in second place, on hand from Spain in third place, Ana Cristina from Portugal. The Crag deciding it again with momentum after zero G, the axe racing up the Crag, knew he had to pound the peak first to get the silver medal, and the axe countering the ice wall and the Crag volcano with a little Russian lava on the run. Pounds in for first on the super aggro crag. What a finish. Let's go to Mo for the final leaderboard standings. Mo. Mike, it was really, really close today. In third place, Anna Cristina from Portugal with 1,275 points. In second place, Alexia from the CIS with 1,425 points. Our winner today, Angel from Spain with 1,425. 50 points. Another exciting conclusion to today's competition. The bronze medal will go to Portugal's Ana Cristina. Rocking the rims and slam dunk. The winner took victory with her fine swan leap. He came with three 200 point second place finishes in our other three events. The silver will go to the hat. Taking a tumble in Mad Max. He came back in zero G with victory and got to the top of the crag first. He'll take the silver back to Russia. And you are now hearing the national anthem of Spain. The Ponzi Blue is on hell. The steamroller Garrido. He will take the global guts goal back to Spain. Along with the glowing beast of the radical rock to show everyone back in his homeland. And he was a champion here on Global Guts. The Extreme Arena is rocking number one today on hell. That's it, yeah. And folks, the Extreme Arena crowd is calling for these players. And with their country's flags waving behind them, we're going to take a little victory lap around the extreme arena. Available at Kids Foot Locker, where you'll find the best selection of athletic footwear and apparel for kids. 